Welcome everybody to today's video. We've got a pretty funny one today. Um, we're going to start off here from De La Cruz Mexican Cuisine. Really like that place. Shout out to them. And we're going to cruise on over to uh, part three of this series over there by Southeast Anchorage. Um, right before I was going home, I um, was uh, uh, taking shelter here from the Southeast winds from that little Santa Ana event we had about three, four weeks ago. And uh, from when I'm making this video, uh, end of March. And uh, you can see here, sustain 15 behind Southeast Anchorage. But in the channel, um, I didn't get any uh, wind measurements there. But uh, it definitely was in the above the 20 mile an hour range, I could tell you that much. Um, this was a really good uh, anchorage to shelter for a Southeast wind. So uh, if anybody encounters that over there at Betcher's, I highly recommend the spot. So uh, we're going to get right into it today. Um, I, I was just chilling there and I uh, decided to drop the drone down. Uh, I found that little sandy spot and I got lucky with my drop. I kind of went forward um, uh, by my anchor line and I found my anchor like right away, which was pretty cool. And uh, you could see that there's a, a rock crab there. And um, so there was a current slightly uh so my my the back of the drone right now is towards the current so i'm kind of just hitting the back uh you know just trying to stay with the current you can see that the, the uh, wind is pulling my boat and you can see the anchor line coming up and that delta anchor does hold you can see there's actually two rock crabs and one kind of buried himself in the sand there by the anchor and so uh, i'm just drifting along with the current and having kind of a tough time uh, sticking in one spot because I just kind of want to take a look at the crab. I didn't know that there would be rock crab kind of in the middle of this uh, sandy patch, but um, you know, next time I'm, I'm going to bring at least one hoop now and try and get the crabs. That'd be nice to have a couple of those claws to add to the uh, um, rockfish harvest here. And you can kind of see that, um, you know, he's like, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, he's uh, just chilling right by the anchor there. Um, you know, I don't know what he's doing there, but I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to let the kind of drone play out here. And uh, I'll uh, catch back with you in the important segments of this video.
So right here, um, I found a, I found out what these things are. These are tube enemies, and um, I don't think they have their filter feeding things out right now. Um, but I'm pr I'm pretty sure they're tube enemies. Please, somebody correct me if I'm if I'm incorrect in the uh, comments below. And um, but I found these and I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't think I was gonna see anything really in the sandy bottom, but apparently there's there's a bunch of stuff everywhere. Um, using this drone, I've really understood um, or got a better understanding on how much life is out there. Uh, on these sandy bottoms where you think that there might not be any but there's tons it's everywhere everywhere um just might not be fish so you can see right here that uh look what i found i found a little friend uh, he, it looks like a rock crab and he is just skirting along. I don't know if he thinks I'm chasing him or if he's trying to get from one place to another, but, um, you could see that. <laughs> Look at him go, man. Uh, this is so funny. Alright, so right here, you can kind of see a glass bottle that is where that crab stopped. Um, and then there's another crab right here. Um, I don't know what this crab is, but I'm going to take a guess and say that it is a uh, small sheep crab. Maybe that just molted. I am not sure. Um, it does sure look like a sheep crab. And it definitely has starting to get some uh, barnacles and stuff on it, which they like to decorate themselves with. But I thought this was pretty funny. Watch this. I think these are these two crabs are mating. So I'm going to let you guys watch it. I'm going to let them have their space.
Well, that concludes today's video. If you guys like this type of stuff, don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe. It helps me get motivated to do these things. And uh, let me know if you think that crab earlier was not a, a juvenile sheep crab. I am totally open to corrections. Uh, and I like communicating with you guys and uh, it's super fun. So let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.